Hey guys, what I'm going to show you in this video is a niche research strategy that's indicative of future niches that do not exist yet. What do you mean don't exist yet? I'm going to show you in this video, but it's related to politics. We know that the heat is going to get turned up later this year as it relates to politics with regards to, you know, mainstream news, if you guys are still out there watching it, and that's going to translate into opportunity for print on demand sellers. I'm going to show you an existing like very recent from only two days ago niche that's been really taking off in popularity show you how i found it and it'll be representative of how you can take advantage of future niches that do not exist yet so let's get right to it so if you guys have been browsing new submitted shirts to amazon merch that have already generated sales you may have seen a shirt like this one related to joe biden and cannibals back in when D-Day occurred and I'm just now I don't follow the mainstream news if you couldn't tell but I noticed quite a few of these shirts were newly submitted right so they're recent submissions they didn't exist maybe three days ago but as of two days ago they exist and they're already locking in sales now Amazon actually shows us that a product well number one when it was submitted and number two whether or not it's sold all you have to do is scroll down in the detail page you get to this product details section right here and you can see date first available april 20th 2024 and you can see that the current best sellers rank in the clothing shoes and jewelry category is 282,000. so that is a 282k bsr which doesn't make this a best seller but it does mean that it is selling quite well, especially for a product that has only existed for less than three total days on Amazon. Okay, so this is just one though. If it's just one, it's probably not that strong of a signal. What if it's multiple though? I noticed there was another one right here, Cannibals Ate My Uncle, and you can see in the keywords, right? Cannibals Ate My Uncle, Biden, and then Amazon's adding the uh, vintage t-shirt, okay? So Cannibals Ate My Uncle appears like it could be a niche. We scroll down just a little bit. Date first available April 21st. Best seller rank 336,000. Okay, another good signal. That's only two of them though. Can we find a third? Yes, we can. Here we go. Cannibals Ate My Uncle, another design. It says retro Cannibals Ate My Uncle, Joe Biden, satire, Trump 2024 t-shirt. Scroll down. Date first available, April 2021, BSR 259,000. Here is a, what is that, the fourth one? Uh, Cannibals Ate My Uncle with the picture. So there's a lot of these designs aren't even that good. This was submitted on April 21st, and it has a BSR of 42,000. This one is making definitely multiple sales. I'm still not as confident in my ability to say how many sales based on the BSR. The reality is, like, it took years to really get a, a confident feel for how BSR translates into projecting sales. And Amazon in the last year kind of switched up how the categories worked for Amazon merch products. So I'm not as confident in my predictions anymore, but I know that 42,000 is making multiple sales when those other shirts at like 250,000, 300,000 may have only made a single sale. Definitely possible. Because as you don't make another sale, your BSR will, will increase, right? A lower BSR means you're selling better than the other products, you know, relative in the same category, right? You're, you're outselling the other products in your category. You have a lower BSR indicating more sales. Uh, here are a few more. Cannibals ate my uncle, quote Joe Biden. Uh, I, a lot of these shirts are making profit, by the way. Only one of them was priced at min profit. This was listed on April 2021. Current BSR, 143,000. And here is one more. I'm going to show you how I found these, by the way, in just a second. Because you can go to Amazon and just sort by newest arrivals and you can comb through these submissions every single day. You might start hating your life after a while though, because that's gonna get boring real quickly. There is a better way, so I will show you in just a second. This one though, Cannibals Ate My Uncle, Joe Biden saying, uh, you can see, you know, again, not the best designs even, uh, even the design placement kind of low on the shirt, but let's take a look really quickly. This was submitted April 22nd, that was just yesterday, BSR 303,000. Hey guys, if it's working, it doesn't mean that, you know, we, we just don't know where these are going to go. We've seen some of these come and go and not be become mainstays. We've seen other ones have some staying power. You know what I mean? We've seen other ones go for weeks, months, etc. And we know that people love their politics, love it or hate it, I guess you could say. So I am here in Merch Dominator. 
over here on the left hand side okay i'm gonna zoom in if we go to mba and kdp and then click best sellers i'll start over okay it's gonna load up the best selling shirts and try to filter out the protected shirts where it says sorting i'm gonna click newest and then click search this is going to pull on a daily basis newly submitted products to amazon merch that have made a sale no other tool is doing it the way that merch dominator is doing it that's why you get the best data that's why i use merch dominator regularly for this purpose to try to find the emerging trends outside of the predictable ones like we have a cinco de mayo shirt here i didn't need to load up merch dominator to know cinco de mayo is coming and that it might be a good idea to sell these t-shirts but i did come here and i see cannibals ate my uncle okay that's only one shirt though what if i keep scrolling Oh, here's another one behind me on the left-hand side, or my right, <laughs> stage right. Uh, another Cannibals Ate My Uncle, so we just keep scrolling and scrolling, and before you know it, we we'll start seeing more and more of them, guys. Okay, another one here, and that is how I am identifying emerging trends in the political realm, even though I don't follow politics, just being honest, all right? So, who cares? We're print-on-demand sellers. Let's make money selling t-shirts to pro and anti, left and right, you know what I'm saying? God forbid we ever get a third party with a normal person, right? Let's not go there though. YouTube algorithm won't like, won't like it anyway. So we'll just table the conversation at that. Thank you guys though for watching this video. I do hope you found it helpful. This is my real process that I actually use. I, I'm not going to Amazon and sorting by newest arrivals and combing through every shirt that has or hasn't sold. That's why we use tools like Merch Dominator. So I'll link that in the description in case you wanna check it out guys. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another new video.